Hey, it's Cody with Mainstream Corporation. I thought I'd take the opportunity, and I apologize that it's taken me so long to do this, but to review the difference primarily between the CA units and then the new Q. And the first thing we'll notice is that the Q unit has a built-in face, and the CA series, you have to buy a separate ComfoSense. And the ComfoSense uh, is a little harder to use than the interface on the Q unit. So with every improvement comes, uh, you know, ease of access, ease of use, ease of maintenance, um, ease of diagnostics, those type of things. So before we rule out CA-550s or CA-350s or the CA-200 series or any CA really, We've got to realize these were the backbone and still are the backbone of the passive house industry in precision extraction delivery, which you can only get uh, through the Zender system here in America. So, when we're looking at the CA series versus the Q series, we're looking at a price difference is about $1,200 upgrade and about 40 CFM more out of the Q unit versus the 550. So that said, it's a little bigger. It's self-balanced, which means that no matter how good or bad the install is um, or the pressure related to the install, it's going to want to even out. So this pressure up here is going to want to even out. Where the CA series is going to be dependent on a professional coming in and measuring. And either way, you should measure every room and dial it in according to the Zender plan that we designed for you. Um, but the CAQ unit will balance right at the unit. Whereas a commissioning agent will also go out and look at each register and, and get those commissioned as well, which means they're going to be putting in the 20 CFM, or excuse me, extracting 20 CFM from the bathroom, 25 from the kitchen, and equally distributing 20 to like a master bedroom, uh, 25 in a living room, those kind of things. Equal distribution, that's neutral pressure. That's what these guys are great at. Removing pollution, providing really comfortable return air, the exact amount that's leaving once it's commissioned. Once it's commissioned. Uh, and every unit that's on the shelf, speaking of which, should be commissioned. And I think that's important to recognize that Zender is the only uh, professional company that's doing complete system install including design including distribution including quality assurance testing and balancing and they're a group of great professionals including mainstream that's always there to pick up the phone and help you so that is one of the core ingredients of success with ERVs including this precision extraction and delivery when we talk about competition or alternative uh, ERV or HRV technologies, the reason why Zender's at the top is because of uh -huh, how quiet it is, the adjustability, the commissioning ability of it. Uh, it's the most efficient unit on the market, and probably the most important thing is the built-in preheaters make this the true Rocky Mountain solution for fresh indoor air. It also has the capability of removing pollen and smoke within their filters. Um, the difference between the Q and the CA as far as filters go is the Q unit will actually shut itself down when the resistance becomes too bad. The CA series will warn you on the ComfoSense, but you still have to stop the unit and go change it. So. Um, some of the smartness of the CA series uh, is been improved on, let's say, in the queue and especially in the user interface. So why don't we go ahead and take a look at that user interface right now. So I'm going to jump off of this network and jump onto my router. Boom. And then we can go ahead and look at the things that as commissioning agents really like about the Q unit. Number one is status. So it's going to tell me 
how many watts I'm using, how many watts I've used to date. It tells me the indoor and outdoor temperatures, it tells me the indoor and outdoor humidities, and it tells me both the supply air coming in and the air leaving the building temperature and humidity. So quickly we get a sense of how efficient the unit can become. Uh, it also has boost that you can hit yourself and also tasks and one of the things that we like about is the option here where you can go ahead and bypass so anytime in the summer if it's not auto bypassing or set to auto bypass I can just set it to bypass as long as I really want the same with the boost as the all this information is right up here at your fingertips whereas the CA isn't as friendly so the CA again the backbone of the passive house industry and the indoor air quality industry for two decades um, super dependable that's another reason <clears throat> it doesn't um, it doesn't need to be messed with much so the CA series is kind of for like to set it forget it more budget don't need the iPhone and and super connectivity and <clears throat> excuse me you're gonna be on a regular maintenance program to change these filters which are super easy to do uh, the Q unit it's gonna tell you when the filters need to be changed uh, and then it's gonna shut down if you don't change them it also is very interactive so if I'm remote I could see the temperature of my passive house or my performance building uh, from wherever I'm at when I'm skiing I can check in on the house see all the temperatures going good the heaters working uh, all from the interface where again this is just gonna be in the background running 24 7 seven days a week silently um, set it forget it care about it want to interface with it want to know more information want it connected to the internet and that sort of thing. So hopefully that uh, helps decide or helps you decide what the difference is between these units. Certainly there's a document online here that Zender puts out and it outlines some very good details as well. And that's all for now.